What's going on YouTube? It's Austin Holloman. It's the next day. Today is actually my last day here in Nairobi. I'll be going to Ghana. But you guys, when this video uploads, I'll already be in Ghana. I'm going to the mall really quick to pick up some cufflinks because one of Crystal's friends is having a birthday party and there's like a, a sharp dress code, let's say that. So I got a white dress shirt, my dress shoes, and some some jeans I'm gonna wear. But Nelvin made me this dress shirt. I'm gonna show y'all whenever I put it on. It's super nice, got like this little wavy look to it. But you gotta put cufflinks on it. Remember, I only promote stuff that I really like. That's why I can sit here and promote Nelvin daily because I wear his stuff daily. So as y'all can see, I have on this white t-shirt and uh, he made me these little pants right here. So I got this look today. I love it. I've never even worn jogger pants like this, but I'm wearing it today. And that's why I said y'all need to get in Nelvin because he keep your boy right. Look at that. I'm ready for whatever. I'm gonna have to wear this again because I'm just wearing this tomorrow and coming back. I think I noticed that people say about African countries, whenever you show the women there, they say, oh, those women there are Americanized, they're Americanized. When really, it's just the women aren't feeling you, so it reminds you of America. Uh, for me being here all this time, yes, I've ran into a few of them that are like that, but for the most part, that's all bullshit. All right, y'all, so I'm back at the crib. Uh, I went up to the mall, just, I was just killing time. Uh, I probably should have stayed here, but, I just got a delivery, another delivery from the best tailor in the world. So he dropped off these shorts right here. You know, good fabric as usual. So right on time for Ghana. Gonna take those with us. I've actually, yeah, I'm gonna try those on. We're gonna try them on when we get to Ghana, which is in a few hours. Well, I'm going to the airport in a few hours. Then he gave me a set. Now this is dope. I really like this. It's a black and white stripe, uh, short set, nice fabric. He sent me some cufflinks to go in my dress shirt he made for me. Everything is made by this guy. This guy makes everything that I wear. I mean, he literally makes all my shirts now. He hasn't started on the jeans, but we're going to work on those jeans. I hope he's watching this right now so he knows that uh, he's made the jackets. I got a suit that's supposed to be here probably tomorrow, but I won't be here, so I'll get it when I come back. But everything is being made. Like I said, this is the most genuine promotion there'll ever be because I wear it every day. It's just like the cigars. I, w I use them every day. I don't wear them, I use them. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, you got me looking like a damn player in these clothes, man. So this is what the shirt look like, the whole outfit. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try on a hat to put on top of it. All right, y'all, so we in the other bathroom now. Now that's what it looks like with the hat. Now I ain't gonna lie to you. Whenever I get out there to uh, South Africa or somewhere like that, I'm probably gonna wear this. Right here. Check out Nelvin if you have not already. Like I told y'all, he is the best tailor I have ever ran into in the world. He's creative, reliable, affordable, on time, and honest. All right, y'all, so I got Crystal with me now. She, got on my, she wore my favorite color today. Oh, green is your favorite color. Yeah. I didn't know that. I was expecting you to say black or something. Let me show my outfit tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna open the door because they, they always say, oh, also, you never open the doors, which but is not true. Know. Yeah, it's not true at all. Next thing you know, they're gonna say, you need to pick her up and set her in the seat. <laughs>
be shy now. What? <laughs> don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right, you guys, that is the end of the party with Crystal. She's sitting right here with her head. She, she got a headache or something. But as you guys can see, your boy is leaving. And I'm going to be gone for a while, even though she don't like it. I'm going to be gone for a while. So we got four bags right here. Usually it would just be the green bag and the backpack and my barber stuff. And I usually actually just be the green bag and my backpack because I put the barber case in there. But I got to carry a bunch of stuff. I got like 30 almost 40 shirts with me because i plan to be gone for not 40 days but for a while maybe who knows but crystal's here she's very unhappy uh she took my bracelet right here she said she wanted some memories so she took the bracelet so y'all know i played the nice guy role and i gave it a bracelet for the one exactly. time exactly yeah i gave it a bracelet one time so we're about to get ready to head to the airport. She's about to go home. I'm about to go to the airport. And you guys will see me in Ghana next. All right, you guys. So I'm waiting at the gate right now. You guys seen that I got my bags wrapped and the reason it's important to do that is because there's some places where they'll plant stuff in your bag and if you keep your receipt and you do find it and they say hey we found this in your bag you would be like well you put it in there because I had plastic wrap and it's no longer plastic wrap on the bag so that's how you keep yourself safe from being a Britney grinder. So we're in Kigali, Rwanda now at the airport. About another 45 minutes to an hour, I think, until we get on the next flight. And we're going to Ghana. I only slept one hour on that flight. This flight smelled horrible as well. But now we're about to get on the next one, going from Kigali to Accra. It's about six hours of flying time. And then we're gonna be ready for an all new change. Alright you guys, so I just arrived at the airport here in Accra and it's way warmer here. It's very rainy this week, but it's still warmer weather than it was in Nairobi. A lot warmer. Like if it wasn't raining, I'd be able to sit at the beach right now. I want to tell you guys again to wrap your bags and do not put your super valuables, carry your super valuable stuff on the plane. Like for example, my laptop and my chargers and stuff, I take those on the plane with me because the people that put the luggage on the carts to take inside the airport, they throw your shit around like they're throwing a football. I literally, I should have recorded it. I seen a guy out the window and he's literally picking up bags and he's throwing them with so much force that he could throw the shit across a football field. And I had a, a bag that was just fine and I took it to the airport, flew to another country and it was missing a wheel. And it looked like somebody had kicked it as hard as they could. And that's why you wrap them. And 
you don't want to you don't want your super valuable stuff to be sitting in the bag that somebody's basically having football practice with. So like I told you, I'm out here in Accra, Ghana now. Very glad to be out here in the warm weather. I'm excited to fight, to try the new food and see what the city is like. But this is all possible due to John right here. He helped me through the whole process of getting in. If you guys need help getting in the Ghana, this guy to reach out to. I'll leave his contact information in the description. Like I said, this is John. He helped me with the whole visa on arrival process. Just so you guys know, you can get a visa on arrival because I was going to start off, instead of me starting in Tanzania, I was going to start off in Ghana when I first came to Africa. But I seen that you had to mail in paperwork and it was going to be a long drawn out process. But thanks to this guy, it's not that long drawn out process anymore. I was able to come in and get settled right in, right off the bat. Now we're at this restaurant called Frankie's. Uh, Frankie's food, food. Oh, it's famous here. Really? Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out. But uh, it's definitely a different vibe out here for sure. It almost feels like 2006 in the United States. Yeah. Feels like how it was a long time ago. All right, you guys, so that food was about 341 uh, Ghanaian CDs. And that is about, about 30 US dollars and 21 cent. But one thing I did notice on the bill is at the bottom, it says COVID fund and tourism fund, 1%. Let me know what that is. I've never heard anything like that, but uh, it's not much, but I just never heard of that. Alright you guys, I finally made it to the house. My Airbnb I have here in Ghana is nice and warm. I love warm weather. I truly believe black people were made for warm weather. But this is the studio I'm renting. That's John from before right there. It's got a nice, I see that's a king size bed. King or is that queen? He has a king size bed, right? Yeah. King size bed, yeah. You got a full body mirror right here. Uh, everything. The, the thing I like about this place is everything looks very modern. The floors got the nice shine to them. Got a refrigerator right here. A cup, they put a couple bo bottles of water in there. And then we got a, just like on the photo, kitchen that I probably won't be using. But we got a kitchen. Got a decent view of Accra here. then here we have a modern decent bathroom with two shower heads that came with some soap a towel an iron board and a mirror right here a decent mirror too what i'll be worried about is if i can cut my hair in these mirrors which i see it i have to do it more so in the daytime here but it's better than nothing so i'm gonna unpack my stuff interview john right here and I'm going to get ready to step out tonight to show you what the nightlife looks like. All right, y'all. So once again, like I said, we got on Melvin's gear. This is jumpsuit. This short sleeve and short jumpsuit he put together for me. But I'm not going to wear the shades because it's out here raining in Accra right now. It's during rainy season until September, my homeboy says. So I'm going to add this hat. So if you've seen the last episode, this is what it, this is what it looks like with the hat on. I don't know if I want to wear this hat right now. That's what it looks like. I mean, I would be on top of my shit, but I think shades would look better though. So it turns out the homie John, the guy that can get you in the Ghana, you guys need to holler at him if you want to get in and not have to mail in your paperwork. 
this guy, he smokes cigars too, so I was pulling out mine, my Ashton Churchill. By the way, I didn't smoke a cigar at all yesterday, so I've been I've been on my best behavior. But because of this guy, I got another one, so we're gonna blame it on him tonight yeah. that we back on the cigars. And like I said, if y'all have not got at Nelvin to get you a piece like this, you know, something that match up like this, something nice and flat that's gonna lay on your body and be the highest quality, you can't look like this. That's why you need to click the link in the description, which is just his Instagram. Go to his Instagram, reach out to him, and tell him Austin Holloman sent you. So that way, we can confirm that I'm telling the truth about these clothes and I'm not just saying what I'm saying for no reason. Oh, this place is called Ozzy, so it's supposed to be like a beach club type of thing. It don't seem like there's a lot of people here, but it's a little spot to kick it at before we go to the rest of the night, I guess. Right, so now we're going downstairs to uh, check out this bonfire because everything is pretty much empty right now because of the rain. So we're going to walk down here and see what they're looking at. Cigars hitting just right today. I think it sat in the humidor for the perfect amount of time. end of the first video first day out here in Accra Ghana I know I might look a little tired I got lit yesterday but I feel way better because I slept from that plane ride now to start I know what you guys really want to know the women out here are fantastic absolutely amazing but I'm gonna tell you this they look exactly like the women in the United States like I mean exactly you cannot tell the difference like literally I went to this club called Twistlet yesterday and when I got there I told my homeboy, I was like, man, it's a bunch of Americans in here. 
And I start I started hearing everybody speak in the native language. I was like, damn, they look just like us. They weren't lying when they said the slaves came from this country for the majority of the time. And so yeah, everybody here looks American. They if you're from the United States or I guess if you're from the UK, they look exactly like we do. Now I will say this, uh, if you, from what I've seen day one, uh, it seems like dating is going to be the exact same way it was dating in the United States 10 years ago. So I heard dudes say that, oh, it may be a little Americanized. Uh, yeah, the competition is going to be stiff out here. I don't see the women disrespecting you the same way they would in the States, but uh, it's not going to be too much of a difference coming here from what I see. But that's only day one. That's only day one. But I do recommend from what I've seen so far, people need to come to Ghana. This is a great place to be at. Um, it's affordable. It's more expensive than Nairobi, if you ask me, but it's affordable. The beaches are nice. The women are nice. The music they play was more so current. And that's one thing I did notice in Nairobi was the, music, the American music that they played in Nairobi was 20 years old, which I like. Uh, the music here, I kind of noticed some of the, the modern day music, that the same stuff we'd be listening to back home. So I had uh, the guy Paul, John Paul, that helped me with the visa. He told me that they're very into American culture from the way how the guys were dressing. Like literally, uh, I even seen some guys sagging their pants, the, the, the hats, the snapbacks were being worn the exact same way that they would in the States. So, literally, it's exact, it's almost like you just took some Americans and put them in Africa. Like, they're not that much different from the ones back home. Uh, just not as disrespectful. You know, the, the degeneracy, I would say, is not the same here as it is there in the States. So, if I had to pick one between the United States and that, Black America, and being in Ghana, I would definitely pick Ghana. So I'm also noticing there's a lot of uh, white people here, which is something that was in Nairobi, but not as deep. It's more people, white people here than it is in Nairobi. I don't know why that is. Uh, if anybody knows why, just let me know. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I'm just giving you guys my honest feedback about what I see. I will have to say that a lot of people love to scream, oh, uh, Kenya's Americanized, Kenya's Americanized. Uh, after day one being in Nairobi and day one being in Accra, I'm definitely going to have to say Accra is literally black America in Africa. Like there's not even the words that they chose to use, the way that they dressed, the way that they talked, the way they just look naturally, just the natural selves looks, it's not that hard. It's not that much of a difference between them and us. So I will say that if anybody's gonna be Americanized, and I'm not saying they're Americanized in a bad way, as I've only been here one day, uh, but it's more so of Accra than Nairobi. Just off one day, I can tell that. Again, I put up a I put up a post and I said an average American is not gonna win in Ghana, as opposed to uh, I think as in Nairobi, if you dress decent, you know you can you can get. Austin Holloman results <laughs> but if you come to Ghana and you dress decently that that's still not gonna be enough because the competition is very very steep out here there's a lot of dudes I've seen that look like they're doing pretty well for themselves yesterday so uh, if you you might want to go to Nairobi first to get your feet wet and then come out here I think I think it's going to be a lot harder to date out here than it is in Nairobi. But I've only been here one day. So y'all let me know what y'all think. I appreciate y'all watching. I think we're going to go. We may or may not go ahead and stay on this side of the uh, continent for a while. If I do stay on the side of the continent, I'm going to go ahead and do Nigeria next. Senegal and uh, Cote d'Ivoire, which is the Ivory Coast. And then I'm going to go back to Kenya. Or, who knows, who knows, depending on how the content goes, I may go straight to Angola. And then do Angola, Namibia, Botswana, South Africa. And y'all let me know what y'all y'all let me know what y'all want to see. But I won't be going back to Zambia no time soon. But y'all let me know what y'all want to see again. The shirt. This shirt. I gotta thank Nelvin last night because your boy Austin Holloman got some hits in this outfit last night. And that's thanks to my tailor, Nelvin. Make sure y'all follow him below. A lot of people, a few people said that oh his Instagram is not available. 
NC, the letter N as in Niger, C as in Cal, Nairobi, N-A-I-R-O-B-I, -I. NC Nairobi. His link is in the description. Y'all make sure y'all click and y'all go check him out so you can look like me. Another thing I want to touch on, feeling at home with the people here. Did I feel at home with the people here in Accra better or Nairobi? That's a really, really tough decision, right? I'm gonna have to say, I felt at home here because the people literally looked the same way they did from home, talked the same way they did from home, and they were still, I will say this, Nairobi felt at home because they were black too, yes, but they were friendlier in Nairobi. That's not to say the people here are rude, but in Nairobi, it's almost like the people, their personality is like this, with open arms. Here is like that, but it's not as the the arms are a little more like this. That may have just been where, where I was at, but let me know what y'all think in the comments below. I think that they're very friendly all over Africa, but I'm still gonna have to give it to Nairobi for them being the most friendly.